From now on, that's how you drive, nerd soul. Late ill kid at one young so holding it down, bringing that street geek and nerd soul. What is up, my people? Today, oh yeah, we about to get into another wonderful episode of movie reviews, and we ain't gonna waste no time, baby driver. Is what's up for today, and this is gonna be spoiler rich. That's why we got spoiler right there, and I'm gonna stay off the spoiler as much as possible because I know there's a lot of people that haven't seen this. You know, it's an indie film. A lot of people don't know about it, but you should. So uh, there's three reasons that I think you should see this, and I'm gonna run them down right now. So uh, number one is the style of this film. Edgar Wright is in top form. The way it's color graded, the you know the dialogue, the way the music comes in and out, the way he uses it to accentuate what's going on in real life, like what people are doing, how they're walking, how they're moving, different noises from here and there, shine through and make a real difference in this. Uh, Edgar Wright has just, he's killed it and done tons of films. Like, take a look. And if you like any of those, the style of it, the way it's directed, the editing, the way it's paced, that has been amped up and you've got it in spades in Baby Driver. There's just so much to love about how this film feels. And that's all up to the style, you know, how, the, how we drive, the way the relationships play out, all of the bad guys, some of the good guys and some of the sort of good guys in this really play well into just creating a very fun time and it makes you want to come back. I think this is a movie that has a lot of replay value. So uh, number two has got to be the music. It's just got to be the music. It's This movie is almost a musical. Um, and some people when they were coming out of South By were saying the same thing was like, you know, this is sort of a musical, but you don't have the thing where people are walking down the street like snapping their fingers and like jumping on lamp poles and sw swinging around them and stuff. It's not that type of thing. But music is heavily infused in every scene. It's a, it's a large driving force. And it's not a situation where, like Guardians of the Galaxy, where music is kind of part of it to kind of help sell it. In this case, music is part of it because it's it's literally a piece of the heart of the film. You know, it, it helps build this film. It's almost a character in itself. Um, and I, I've got to say, there's, there's a lot to love about each track and what each track means to that scene and what each track means to, of course, our you know protagonist and baby and it just really helps build his character it builds the character of the film it builds the character of the people that he's going up against and it's 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 really smart and fresh the way they infused it so that's another reason you should definitely see baby driver but the last reason is number three which is the action straight up this movie does not let up after pretty much from the first scene, you get you know you get your times when you kind of have to relax from the last action scene. But this movie keeps you tense, and there's there's some very very interesting set pieces in this. There's one where there's a job, and I'm trying to stay spoiler ish, but not too much because if you haven't seen it, I want you to go see it. But there's a job that goes bad. Of course, this is a heist movie, so you know one job at least one job has to go bad, and when that job goes bad, it's Man, is it a wild ride. I mean, a wild ride from the second the job goes bad until they sit, get back to like the, I guess the, the staging area for the heist. And I mean, from bullets to highways to rolling trucks, all kinds of craziness is just on display and it's shot so well and so cool. And to see your protagonist kind of almost in control the whole time is really fun. Like this movie, this is a movie that is fun. Like the style of it, the music, the action really come together to be fun. And when you see this action, you feel this action. Like the hits are like hard hits. Like each one really just 
every time you see it, whether it's a gunshot or where it's a car smashing into another, you're like, whoa, whoa, that was kind of serious. And it's moves like that, it's shots like that, it seems like that, that really bring it home to let you know that, hey, there's a lot of music in here and that's dope. Yo, there's a lot of flash and flair with the style, but at its heart, this is an action movie accompanied by amazing style and driven by some awesome music. So, before I move on, and I got tons of other cool stuff to talk about, a couple of questions. I gotta remind you that you can find me on Black Hollywood Live. That's right, the first online network for African Americans. It is so dope. And you can check them out at blackhollywoodlive.com where they have celebrity interviews, after shows, sports talk, geek nerd tech, the whole shebang a bang at youtube.com slash blackhollywoodlive. So we've talked about the style, we've talked about the music, we've talked about the action, and it's all well and good. But this is stitched together and held together by some great dialogue. Like, I don't think there's, I don't think there's too many. And I mean, of course, jump down in the comments, let me know. But I don't think there's a lot of dialogue that's throwaway in this movie. There's nothing in this movie that said that you're like, well, we didn't need to know that, or that character need, didn't need to say that. Like, this is some tight dialogue. This is written extremely well in ways that normal people would say, and, and folks in these situations that, at least from my perspective, would say this to each other. Um, also, the acting shines through. Kevin Spacey, he's killing it. I mean, now, Kevin Spacey is sort of playing Frank Underwood, but with a twist, and it's just, Man, he's Kevin Spacey's never done anything whack. I mean, I'm sure you guys probably found one movie, like his first movie, and throw it in the comments. But from what I know, he's never done something whack. And this movie, he just, it just steps it up like another level. And it brings legitimacy to this role and to this film. And to add to that legitimacy are great accoutrements, if you might say, and Jamie Foxx, and of course, John Hamm with their characters as bad guys and the way they see the world, the way they see the job, and the way they interact with, of course, Kevin Spacey and in the character of Dot as their, I guess, de facto leader, their boss, whatever. It's very interesting to see their two sides and perspectives of the crimes that they commit and the world that they live in. So before I get to our star of the show, I'm gonna go in and let you know with the action, the style, the music, the pacing, the direction, all that, I gotta give this movie nothing but five stars. Yo, straight up, I wanna go see the joint again. I really enjoy it. I love it a whole lot. And one of the reasons I love it so much is because I actually care about what's happening. And that's because Baby is a character that you end up getting to know very well and you end up caring about who he is what he wants and why he wants what he wants because he's in a world that he doesn't get to make all of his choices and Edgar Wright does a great job of making you care about this character he, he does a great job of making you want to learn more about his story and come back like I said this movie has a lot of replay value there's a lot of fun to be had. Baby is a character. I know when people like Baby, B-A-B-Y, -B -A -B Baby, it, that's a stupid name, but you end up really getting involved in his story and really caring. And when you take someone that you care about and throw them into cool music, cool action, and great style, that's a movie that I think you should check out. So if you have not checked out Baby Driver, please treat yourself. And if you have seen it, holla at me, I'ma holla at you. Jump down in the comments, let me know what you thought of Baby Driver. Let's go on and holla, hash this out because I wanna know some of y'all favorite scenes down below. And if you haven't seen it yet, don't go down below in the comments because it might be a sport. So before I bounce, I gotta tell you to hit up thatnerdsoul.com. That's right, check me out. All my videos are there from the oldest, newest, latest, greatest, and all that. Then hit up shop.thatnerdsoul.com and pick yo self up a t-shirt player and don't forget to get one for them play s then come back here like comment subscribe and share that nerd soul that's right there's no better way that i can show people that you like what you are watching and my shout outs go to la what up va what up rva you got my heart and please man be good to yourselves be good to each other and if you see them lights in your rear view 
press down on that pedal. Peace.